How do they gamers? Now, I got a few views on TikTok, so now I've hit 400 subscribers, which is very epic indeed. Like, think about it. 400 subscribers? That's like 100 more people than there are in the movie 300. Like, that is crazy. If you did come from TikTok and subscribe, I'd like to say thank you very much. And if you found my channel through YouTube, I'd like to also say thank you. All support, very much appreciated. Even if you just watch one video, it helps me out a lot. But yeah, thank you so much, uh, gamers, for getting me to 400 subscribers yeah along with the video all right today we're going to be looking at a show called that'll teach them now if you don't know what this show is i genuinely think you aren't living under a rock you've probably been fucking killed by a rock all right someone's come up with massive rock just smashed your face in with it because it's on everyone's recommended at the moment and you know personally i love the show the premise of the show is a bunch of kids go to a 1950s boarding school and that's it it's kind of like love island except they're in a shithole the kids have absolutely no freedom and they just have a bunch of people screaming at them all day. You know, you're genuinely seeing interactions with people, reasonable intelligence. Like, you're not getting retarded shit thrown at you constantly. Just having, you know, a good, entertaining show where people just go into a 1950s boarding school. There's no fuckery involved. That's it. So, gamers, gather your dog. Gather your family. Let everybody you know on your street. Get them into your fucking house because uh, we're going to watch this show together. <laughs> Jesus Christ, look at that fucking death stare. She looks like she wants to curb stomp every fucking single child in that room. If you want to know who this character is, this... This is Matron, and basically her job is to smell all the kids, all right? I'm not fucking joking. Hmm. They smell quite sweet. Basically, every teacher in this school hates children. Now, I'm lucky enough to have left school, so I know what it's like to experience teachers who absolutely hate fucking children. I'm convinced from this show that every single teacher here would love nothing more than to just see every child just massacred in the fucking street. It is pretty intense, the hatred they have for them. Nevertheless, seeing people being mean to children is entertaining to me, and that's why I love this show. Through those doors is a time of austere living conditions and of basic food. That guy basically just said, as his first introduction to his school, that all of the new students is, all right, listen up, you little shits, all right? Through these doors, it's gonna be shit food, shit fucking living conditions, all right? You're gonna have a shit time, pieces of shit. You have two minutes to say goodbye to your family and friends. Jesus Christ, that escalated quickly. In this situation, right, you've just been told by a complete stranger who you've never met before that in the next four weeks, you're basically gonna starve to death, live in a shithole, and you only have two minutes left to say goodbye to your family. I think that's the time you decide to run. While they will suffer a range of strict punishments, the only thing they won't get is the cane. It was made illegal in the late 1990s. That is actually a joke, all right? You're telling me that you want kids to experience the full 1950s boarding school experience and you're not even allowed to beat up some kids? What the fuck is this bullshit? I thought they were getting sent back in time. I've been absolutely scammed here. It's an opportunity to beat up some kids, but some lawmakers from the 90s are like, how about no? Nicola Greenhalgh has been singled out for special treatment. This is nothing new. I live in Manchester. Oh, she lives in Manchester. You know, the fact that she was pulled out for special treatment doesn't surprise me now. I'm never going to be able to go to Manchester again, am I? Well, not that I wanted to. I tend to have a mouth on me. That's her opening description for the show. She's just like, yeah, guys, I have a mouth. Just like, you know, I... I would fucking hope you do. Something's gone severely wrong if you don't, so thank you for reminding me that you have a mouth and are capable of speaking. I'm told that we'd have a haircut. Everybody gets a 50s haircut. Wait, they're cutting their hair off now. Like, that that's actual torture. That is a step too far, right? Like, actual torture, which is like deleting a kid's Minecraft world, and then you've got, like, actual fucking torture, which is cutting their hair off without telling them. Like, I swear to God, if this was me in this situation, I, w I would fucking run out. I don't even care. If, if anyone tries to cut my hair all right just know i'm gonna i'm gonna cut you okay maybe that was a little bit violent but you get what i mean big smiles pretend you're enjoying yourself why does every school photographer do this like, I, d I don't know why it's just every single one i've ever had take a picture of me and my class always try and tell some like relatable jokes at everybody to try and get you to smile it's like look we're all fucking dead inside can you just please leave us alone take cake. Go back. Yeah, that was 
While the girls are more concerned about personal hygiene, the boys want to keep their sweets. This guy, this guy is my favorite person in the entire show. He's got, he's got stuff everywhere. He's like the mob boss of the school. He's like Walter White, but awesome. He's got like biscuits in the laundry room, jelly babies under his bed, eggs in the fireplace. Guys just gotta eat. Understandable, but the school's just like, no, you can't have any fucking good food. You gotta eat our fucking bullshit. Everybody fucking respects him. Even the show calls him like the king of contraband. You can't get a better a better fucking title on the show. I've had my mum baking for me for the past week. She's made a parking, some fruit cake, some biscuits, and I bought a load of Everton mints, jelly babies, cough candy sweets, and some other stuff as well. Like, you've got to respect the hustle. The guy could be, like, fucking executed if they find all of his stash. He's actually pretty smart as well. He decides that because he's got so much, he's gonna, like, space it out. So if they find one thing, he'll still have some left. Like, he's a fucking genius. Like, someone sign him up, please. And I'm... What's he mad? Ugh, he's got a foot fetish. I don't, I don't like... I don't like him anymore. Creeps me out. Watch me carefully. Jeez, the guy just fucking dipped immediately. He saw the class and he was like, you know what, fuck this. Why didn't you stand up? I've just entered the room. All right, I've got an interesting conspiracy theory to tell you here, all right? You know how some people will beg for, you know, others to stand up for them when they enter the room? Now, I have a little theory that this is because they want to see who gets a boner when they walk in. Obviously, when they're under the desk, you can't actually see. If you ask everybody to stand up, you know who likes you. I don't know, just a crazy conspiracy theorist moment. You should probably shut down my YouTube channel for that. I'm just saying, it's kind of sus, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Why the fuck does she walk like that? Like she's leaning forward or something. Like, is she trying to Naruto run? Is this the early signs of Naruto run? Secretly, they're just preparing everybody to raid like fucking Area 51. Like that would be an epic turn of events. Patrons were sticklers for hospital corners and precision made beds. Something entirely alien to the 21st century duvet generation. I've never been more disrespected in my life by somebody, but also simultaneously agree with them. Like, just check this shit out. Look at my fucking bed, all right? I'm pretty sure I've made this three times today, all right? I'll give you a little bed tour if you want. All right, just look at this shit. Look, it's, it's, it's fucking messy, all right? I don't, I don't even know how I've accumulated almost five pillows, all right? This is basically six pillows if you really want to fucking count. Right? And then my bed, look, you can see... I, I basically haven't even folded it over since I got out of bed and there's just a pair of headphones on there. Like, look, this is this is a normal bed that you see in every house, all right? If you say that you make your bed perfectly, you are fucking lying to yourself or you are just like really fucking sad or something because nobody makes their bed properly anymore. That is not a bed. That is not a proper bed. Like, you might as well just sleep on a piece of wood rather than sleeping on that. You probably get the same amount of comfort or probably even more comfort from sleeping on, like, a pile of fucking rubble. Because that, that isn't even a fucking bed. I'm sorry. Oh. Present for you, sir. Are these your babies? No, yours now, sir. They certainly are. He's been caught. No, I can't bear to watch this anymore. I love how even when he's been caught, he's just still playing it cool. He's just like, yeah, listen, mate, I brought these for you. That's why they were underneath my bed. You understand, sir? What? Jeez, this man seems really angry over just like some fucking jelly babies. Like, calm down, man. They're just jelly babies. What did they do to you? Someone has been pregnant and given birth to babies. I bet you this teacher thinks he's a right fucking comedian. That's why he repeats the joke like twice. He said it when he found, oh, you've had some babies. And then he's like, oh, you've been pregnant. And nobody just fucking laughs. Like, you you're just not funny. Shut the fuck up, please. You're making me die inside. I stood there. I said, I don't want any surprises. Did I not? Sir. For heaven's sake, how many times am I going to say it? My goodness, I have never seen a gentleman so offended by being offered some fucking jelly babies. Like, a simple no thank you would be polite. Anyway, gamers, I hope you've enjoyed seeing some children in pain today, because I know I have. Thank you so much again for 400 subscribers. It's very epic. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you in, in, in the next video. Farewell. <laughs>